Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you for tuning in and supporting the silver stacking community. The best way to support this video is by one, liking the video and two, leaving a comment. I really hope you do that once you hear how important this topic is. If you want a chance to win some silver shipped straight to your front doorstep, then click the subscribe button because I'm picking two winners for my silver giveaway. And the entry video is open right now. You can go enter right now. The link's in the description and possibly the pinned comment. And I also have a podcast. It's called the Silver Stacking Podcast. We're doing a giveaway over there for the first thousand subscribers. You definitely want to go enter in that because we'll be picking the winner very shortly. So lots of silver given away to a lot, uh, lots of different stackers and made the luckiest stacker win. Now we're going to be talking about silver's value. I don't think you realize how valuable silver really is. I don't think a lot of people do. I honestly don't feel like most, even silver stackers realize how valuable silver really is. Not many people do. And when you do understand the true value of silver, then spot prices are irrelevant. No amount of dollars can ever equal or amount to an ounce of silver. None. So when price is going down to 24, 23, 22, or if it's too pricey to buy at 28, 29, 30, then you don't understand silver's true value because no amount of fake money can equal real money. No matter who says that one ounce coin is worth what is irrelevant because the coin's value is the one ounce inside of it, not the price tag attached to it. No matter who says that coin is worth what, whatever they think it is, is irrelevant. Spot price is irrelevant. We are just pegging our perception of what that ounce is worth during that period of time. But silver is timeless. It's been around for 5,000 years. We're going to be going over a Wikipedia article just kind of giving the backstory of silver. I'm obviously going to be throwing in a lot of my two cents because this is coming from a uh, just a textbook perspective, but there's a lot of other stuff that we need to talk about, a lot of other context. So I can promise you, if you like this video right now and you are not convinced that silver has extreme value beyond any amount of dollar, then you can dislike the video at the end. But please hear me through because I can guarantee if you watch this video, you will understand silver's true value. And that is important to everybody, even experienced silver stackers. People that have never invested a single dollar in their entire life need to hear this video. And that's why I said in the beginning, please like it, please comment, please share. You definitely want to subscribe because I post daily videos. I can list 10 different reasons why silver is going to be extremely profitable and explode in the next decade. And I can give 10 other reasons why stock markets won't. Silver makes the most sense, even beyond gold, even beyond gold. Let's list a couple of reasons why silver is so valuable. One, silver has been used as money since literally the beginning of man, right? Seriously, silver for the last 5,000 years has been seen as money, even before gold. Silver is money. That's what it is. It always has been. Our money was backed by silver until we got rid of the gold standard. And look what happened to the dollar in 1971. As soon as we got rid of the gold standard, the dollar flopped. If you look at a chart, as soon as in 1971 we got rid of the gold standard, the dollar just dropped. It lost 98% of its purchasing power, 40% or 44% in the last 20 years. Do the math. Number two, silver is the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity, electricity, even light sensitivity. Silver is used in everything. Nothing performs as good as silver, and, and, and the closest thing is copper, but it's, it's not even a close second. Nothing can replace silver because it is the best, much more useful than gold. Number three, it has real world applications, kind of like what I was just facing towards gold. Gold is used more for coins, bars, jewelry, necklaces, earrings, watches. Silver is used for that stuff, but it also, since it is the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity, electricity, all that, it's also used in laptops, cell phones, dental alloys, there's colloidal silver in the medical world. It's used for 5G towers, solar panels, electric vehicles, 
all of that stuff is going to be needed more and more and more and more and more as time goes on, especially as we advance in this new digital technological era. But there's less and less and less silver. Low supply, high demand shoots the price up. We need it for the earth to literally survive. Remember when I was just talking about silver being needed for solar panels? Well, that's because there's PV cells, photovoltaic cells. That's what's in the solar panels. But we do not have enough silver to make the entire world green, to have all these solar panels and electric vehicles. So if we don't have enough silver to make all these solar panels and produce all these electric vehicles, that means that the Green New Deal, all of the world going green isn't possible. And if that's not possible, then how are we going to stop global warming or climate change? We can't. Silver is literally the one thing we need for the earth to keep spinning. So let's keep moving on. Six, it's the only way to exchange or back something of real value, right? Silver cannot be created nor destroyed. That's just like money. Money is supposed to be something that cannot be created nor destroyed. You can create dollars, you can destroy dollars. Every fiat-based system has lasted maybe 100 years at the most, and it's designed to fail. Literally, it's designed to fail. It's like trying to get ourselves out of debt by replacing it with more debt. It's like trying to pay off a credit card with another credit card. With another credit card, it catches up. It doesn't work. We're too deep in the hole to dig ourselves out. We're actually digging the hole deeper trying to get ourselves out. That won't work. That won't work. You know what the solution is? And actually, I don't even say there's a solution. There's only an alternative. And the alternative is precious metals. Number seven, it's extremely undervalued. See, gold is overvalued. Silver is undervalued. If you don't believe me, if you want literal proof, look at the gold to silver ratio. The gold to silver ratio shows the amount of silver it takes to equal one ounce of gold. Right now, the ratio is probably around 75 to 1. That means that silver is undervalued. Now, if you're an investor, wouldn't you want to invest into something that's undervalued, not overvalued? Why would you invest into something that's already overvalued? You're supposed to buy the undervalued thing and hold on to it till it becomes more valuable, right? Silver's undervalued. Actually, it's so undervalued that in 2020, we saw the highest gold to silver ratio we've ever seen throughout the last 5,000 years, 125 to 1. Let me put a little bit of context in to show how undervalued silver is. In biblical times, ancient Egypt, the gold to silver ratio was around 2 to 1, 2 and a half to 1. 2 and a half parts silver equals 1 part gold. Actually, even before that, some say it was 1 to 1. Or even silver might have been more valuable because back then, silver was seen as magic. And it it really is. Silver is magical beyond other precious metals. You want to know why? Silver can purify water. No other metal can. Silver has antimicrobial properties. If you drop silver or a silver coin in water, it purifies the water. If you drop silver in milk, it keeps the milk fresh longer. Silver has uses beyond gold times 10 tenfold gold has nothing compared to silver so why is the price 75 times more valuable or or more expensive Hmm. so let's keep moving forwards it comes out of the ground roughly eight nine to one so that's what the gold to silver ratio has been for the last thousands of years it's eight to one then we got 16 to one um you know past thousand years or so But something happened in 1930, right? You heard me correctly. Just recently, the gold to silver ratio was 16 to 1 until 1930. FDR got in office, changed the gold to silver ratio from 16 to 1 to 75 to 1, single-handedly devaluing silver. So the gold to silver ratio, silver's undervalued aspect or or even just price compared to gold was all man-made manipulated from perception. And if you realize what went on back then, it's, it, it's so, it, it's, it's very interesting to see how gold and silver even still move in tandem when they're used for two completely different things. Why is the price of gold and silver so identical when they are used for two completely different reasons? Well, moving forwards, I, my name is Silver Slayer, and I'm sure you also invest into silver instead of gold for obvious reasons. Now, I've made a lot of videos on this. We don't have to talk about it, but we can a little bit. One, 
silver is scarce. There's a silver shortage. There's not a gold shortage. Silver is needed for all these industrial applications moving forwards. Gold really isn't. So silver will take on a life of its own beyond gold. And if you're looking at silver's price just from dollar perspective or from charts or the dollar index, you're missing in a completely different world of why silver is going to explode. And that's because the shortage it, you, you can look at the dollar index and stock market volatility and CPI data and, and interest rates and all that. Yeah, that, that can show you some insight. Yeah, that does make sense to why silver has value. But there's a whole other planet of, of information and, and proof of why silver really is going to explode. So anyways, number eight, it's a way to store wealth as the dollar depreciates. It really is. Silver, when I say it's it's timeless and it's priceless, it literally is. Let me let me throw something in comparison so, so you can really just picture what I mean. Back in the day, a walking liberty half dollar could get you a gallon of gas. Let's say you go to the let, let's say like back in the, like a walking liberty or whatever, barber half dollar, you go to the gas station, you give them a half dollar, you get your gallon of gas. You just traded value for value because that 50 cent half dollar has 50 cents worth of silver inside of it. So you exchanged good for a good value for value money for, you know, let's say you went back the next day, still have just a half dollar. But when you pulled up to the gas station, you landed in a time, uh, a time warp, a black hole and you ended up in today's time. That same half dollar can still get you a gallon of gas. Still, if that's all you had in your pocket from back then to today, that one coin can still get you the same thing from back in the day as it can today. Nothing else in the world you can do that with. You want to know how, though? Back in the day, it was the 50 cents that could get you a gallon of gas because a gallon of gas was 50 cents back then. Nowadays, 50 cents can't get you a gallon of gas. But you could take that 50 cent walking liberty, walk down the street to your local coin shop, sell it for $10 and get yourself a couple gallons of gas. You see what I mean? Silver is timeless. Nothing else in the world you can do that with. Silver, when you put your money in that, it is keeping its value. Imagine if you would have just kept that 50 cents in your bank account. A gallon of gas can't get you 50 cents today. Silver has intrinsical value, value within itself. No matter who says that coin is worth what is irrelevant because the coin's value is the one ounce inside of it. And that's a pretty good way to explain what I mean when I say that. Because if you're looking at just 50 cents, putting that 50 cents in your bank account from that guy back in the day, what can you buy with 50 cents today? Definitely not a gallon of gas. But putting, keeping that walking liberty half dollar, that 50 cents, keeping that, and now selling it, look what you can get versus the 50 cents you would have. You can get several gallons of gas, and 50 cents nowadays can't even buy you a, a piece of bubble gum. Silver is timeless. It's priceless. No amount of dollars can equal silver. And until you understand that, when the price goes down, you're going to worry. When spot price goes down, you're going to freak out because you don't understand the true value. $100 is nothing compared to silver. Silver is much more useful than gold. And if gold's sitting at 1800 then silver should be 10 times that. I'm not saying it will be that because there's a lot of uh, political monopoly, price suppression, all that. But it should be. It should be. I'm not saying it. It, it will be, but I'm saying it should be if you want to look at life on fair terms. Now, things aren't fair, but there will be a day and age where silver will be so scarce and so needed. And when people realize how critical it is, once they realize that silver is the one thing we need to go green, that's when the real price will come out around 2025, 2026, in my opinion. That's when the Green New Deal will be in full effect. That's when most automobile companies will be making electric vehicles. That is when. That's when. If you want to know when, in my opinion, it's that time period. So I really want you to just think about what all I'm saying. Just let it all stew up because a lot of people will just put this little piece of the puzzle here or this little piece, but they'll make separate videos or you'll find an article just talking about this piece, but doesn't mention any of the others. This video is covering all of those in one video. 
and when you get all of this information like i said in the beginning of the video like the video and if i if i can't prove that silver's value by the end dislike it i couldn't imagine anyone disliking the video by now and if you do dislike the video if you don't understand or don't believe or don't see how silver is the most valuable thing in the world or what makes it valuable then you shouldn't be investing at all because that means you're either one just investing out of spite or or just um being biased to some way or two you just you just don't understand how supply and demand works you can't debate this you can't debate this you really can't anything else yes if i'm sitting at the bar with a friend or something we could talk about something when it comes to silver it makes the most sense by far out of anything else out of anything else even beyond gold that's why there's such a big silver stacking community, not a gold stacking community. That's why my name is Silver Slayer, not Gold Slayer. That's why it's called Wall Street Silver, not Wall Street Gold. That's why it was a silver raid, not the gold raid. There's reasons for that. There's reasons. So we can look at this article a little bit from uh, Wikipedia talking about silver as an investment. But I'm just going to highlight some of the main points. So they go over a lot. So... The price of silver is driven by speculation and supply and demand like most commodities. The price of silver is notoriously volatile compared to that of gold because of the smaller market. Lower market liquidity, demand fluctuations between, between industrial and store value users. And um, at, you know, at times this can cause wild raging valuations of the market creating volatility. And yes, silver is called the devil's metal riskier version because it's a much smaller market than gold so when x amount of dollars goes into silver versus gold the price either hits higher highs or lower lows if gold's going to rise 10 percent, silver's going to rise 15 but also the opposite if gold drops 10 percent, silver's going to drop 15 but you can't call a, a safe haven metal risky that's contradicting now i want you to answer a question for me what price did you start buying silver was it $15? Was it $20? Was it $30? Was it $11 in March 2020? Was it $30 in beginning of Jan uh, 2021 during the Wall Street? So when was it? Now, I ask that because when you entered the market is going to determine what you think about the price right now. Not everyone looks at the price the same from, from the same perspective. Let me make an example. If I said silver price is high right now, depending upon the person, they could say that they could disagree or agree with me. That's why you have to be careful in YouTube comments because you probably don't think of things this way. A lot of people probably think silver is low right now, but imagine the person that started buying silver when it was $11 in 2020, not even two years ago. In March of 2020, silver was $11. So they're looking at their investment, it's more than doubled. But then you have the Wall Street Silver movement where a lot of people started buying at $30. So they're looking down at their losses and saying the price is extremely low. But the other person that bought an 11 saying, hey, the price is extremely high. You see how both of those perspectives are looking at one number and have completely different, um, completely different, I guess, Opinions and how dangerous that can be. Opinions are very dangerous, especially when you're talking to someone else. You don't know when that other person entered the market. You don't know how long they've been stacking. You don't know their financial situation. You don't know how long they're going to be uh, until they're going to be selling. All those things matter. So the Hunt brothers, there are three brothers, billionaires. They owned up to 77% of the global silver uh, supply. On the COMEX, they turned the contracts into physical delivery, so they were literally going to own 77% of all the world's silver. The government obviously would not let that happen, so they banned silver called Silver Rule 7. Then they it literally banned it. You couldn't own it. You couldn't buy it. You couldn't sell it to your friends. You had to sell it to the government, which led to, which led to Silver Thursday when the price cut in half. Well, the outcome is they pushed silver to $50 in 1980. Then in 2011 silver hit $50 again and yes you heard me correctly 10 years ago silver was $50 a lot of people don't know that though because they started only last probably two three four years so if you're not watching educational videos you're probably saying silver would never hit $50 that's crazy 
Well, actually, 10 years ago, it was $50. And actually, if you see what led silver to $50 in 2011, it's actually a lot more likely to happen and buy a much, much higher price today. 2008 to 2011, credit financial crisis, um, recession slash depression, billion dollar stimulus led to $50 silver. Nowadays, credit financial crisis, recession slash depression, trillion dollar stimulus, which led to that. But we also have a silver shortage and a global virus and a lot of other things on the table. So if that led silver to $50 back then in three years, imagine what it could lead to today. A lot is going to happen. A lot is going to happen. Seven rate hikes this year, four the next year. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff, but at the end of the day, you've got to remember silver's true value. If the price goes down, 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 you better be buying, 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 because you know it's going to go back up. It always does. you got to be doing that. For some reason, people buy high, hope it goes higher, when you should be buying low, selling high. If silver went down to $11 tomorrow, I bet you most people wouldn't be buying at all. They'd probably be selling most of it. But if the price went to $40 tomorrow, everyone would be buying it. That's when you should be selling it. For some reason, people only buy silver when the price is extremely high. And that's with everything. And that's, I figured out why they need confirmation and validation that it can go higher. That's not understanding silver's true value. That's why also referring back to the beginning of the video, it's so important to understand it. You don't need faith. You don't need proof. If you need confirmation and validation that silver can go high for you to feel good enough to invest, you shouldn't be investing. That's how you get burnt. That means you're just gambling. Gamblers throw money, hope it sticks with the odds against them. Buying high and just hoping it goes higher is gambling. Investors make strategic decisions based off information. We take the information, we buy it while it's low because we know that the price is going to be going up looking at the circumstances and how it affects the price of silver. That's investing. It's called a silver stacking strategy. We're strategizing. That's why it's also so important to watch these videos. If you're just sitting at your, on your couch aimlessly buying silver here and there and just going to sell it whenever, is that strategizing? That's not a strategy. You have to watch videos, pay attention to the markets, right? You got to be careful. But anyways, um, I mean, really, this article isn't going to say much that I haven't already said, but it really just kind of goes into the, the logistics, right? I mean, it just talks about short selling. It's going to talk about what coins are, what bars are, some of the historic dates. But I covered all the meat and potatoes of what you really need to know about silver's true value. And I really hope that you listened and Hopefully now you understand it a little bit better. I really need this video to do good. I really, really need people to see this. I'm not trying to say that for my own sake. I'm really, really trying to genuinely say that people need to understand silver's true value because if they're investing into the market and they don't watch this video or don't know the stuff that I just said, they're at a much much riskier spot and most times won't even break even to be honest so i'm gonna wrap this video up here if you thought this video was one educational two informational three at least entertaining please hit the like button remember i said in the beginning if you still don't think silver is valuable or still don't understand its true value then you can dislike the video but if you're listening to what i'm saying hopefully that won't be the case make sure you go subscribe because i am doing a giveaway i'm picking two silver winners and i'm also doing a giveaway on the silver stacking podcast we post a new podcast every friday it's really cool if you want to go to see a new type of format just two silver stackers you know talking about silver for an hour straight we have different segments different topics all different types of stuff over there i know you're gonna like that as well thanks for tuning in this is silver slayer i'll see you guys soon peace